Okay guys, we're doing our tutorial number seven. This one we're going to make use of the analog read function. Uh, so we're going to have a zero to five volt signal going into this terminal right here, pin A0. So you can see here we have the analog in terminals here. We're going to make use of this guy, pin A0, and we're going to have a zero to five volt signal going into that pin. The Arduino is going to change that zero to five into a zero to 1023 signal that we can then print to the serial monitor and we can see that value change as the voltage changes from zero to five we'll see the value on the serial monitor changing from zero to 1023. The components that we need to make this guy work are a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Essentially what you need is just any potentiometer that's in your starter kit but most starter kits come with a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a sort of jump of wires to make this guy work. The pins here uh, these two pins right here correspond to A and B on the potentiometer. So that's where we're going to put our 5 volts. And then this pin right here in the center, that's the one where our variable voltage is going to come out. So this wiper right here corresponds to this pin right here on our potentiometer. As we change this, then we'll find that the value goes from 0 to 5 volts out. Okay, we'll walk through the wiring here on this diagram in a couple seconds. Okay, that potentiometer, if you haven't looked at it yet, uh, you may want to go to uh, this link right here. So type in learn.sparkfun.com. Under their tutorials, they have a really good uh, tutorial on voltage dividers. This potentiometer is essentially a voltage divider. So the ratio of uh, this resistance to this resistance uh, will provide you with the voltage out. The pins that we're using here are going to be the 5 volt DC pin on our Arduino. We're going to make use of the ground pin as well. And then this wiper right here on the potentiometer is going to go and that'll be our voltage out. And that we're going to hook up to pin A0 on our Arduino. Okay, depending on where you have that wiper, you're going to get different voltages out. So if the wiper is right up here, then you're going to get the full 5 volts applied to pin A0. Okay, because we have the full potential here of 5 volts between these two points. As we change that wiper on the potentiometer, then we're getting less and less of that voltage being applied to pin, again, pin A0. So in this case right here, I've tried to show that it's at the halfway point, and this guy would provide us with two and a half volts DC applied to the input of A0. When the wiper is all the way at the bottom here, well then it's essentially at the same point as the ground, right? So that voltage right here that's going to A0 is at the same potential as the ground pin, and at that point, we're going to have no voltage difference between those two points. Okay, so we can get the full range from 0 to 5 volts, depending on where that wiper is actually set. Now, if we go to the analog read, so again, if you go to this link right here, uh, arduino.cc, uh, en, and go to the reference, uh, it will tell you any, everything to do about the analog read function. Um, and it says here that it reads the value from the specified analog pin. Uh, in that case, we're going to specify that we're going to use pin A0. The Arduino board consists of a six channel, eight channels on the mini and, and nano and 16 on the mega, 10 bit analog to digital converter. This means that it will map input voltages between zero to five volts into integer values between zero and 1023. And this yields a resolution uh, readings of, uh, Five volts, giving a thousand to sorry, five volts over a thousand and twenty-four units, or 0 0.0049 volts or four point nine millivolts per unit. We're going to look at that later in the the video. First thing we're going to look at is just how the zero to five matches with the zero to one thousand and twenty-three. Okay, this input range and the resolution can be changed using the analog reference. Uh, it takes about a 100 microseconds to read an analog input, so the maximum reading rate is about 10,000 times a second. I don't think in this video we're going to need to do anything even remotely close to that. Uh, but just to clear this up, um, 
The analog to digital converter um, is a 10 bit, right? So here it says 10 bit analog to digital converter. So if we take 2 to the power of 10, that provides us with 1024. So if you're wondering where that uh, seemingly random number comes from with this 1023, it comes from 2 to the 10, right? Each bit can either be a 0 or a 1. Um, and we have 10 bits, so it's 2 to the 10, providing us with 1024. Uh, but everything starts at 0, so the range is from 0 to 1023, matching with our 0 to 5 volt DC signal. So I believe this is a linear relationship between uh, the 0 and 1,023. So I'm showing that range right here, right? So this guy would be 1,023, easy now, right? Corresponding to my 0 to 5 volt signal there. So we should find that as we change the potentiometer, um, we will find that the voltage goes from 0 to 5 volts and the digital signal that comes out will be a 0 to 1023 signal. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Let's look at the uh, the wiring now. So let's go to tinkercad.com and we'll take a look at the wiring. So the wiring for this is really simple, guys. So grab your potentiometer. So in my case, I grabbed the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer there. Uh, and the wiring for this is we're going to provide uh, 5 volts difference between this terminal right here, terminal number three, and this terminal, terminal number one. So I have grabbed my five volt output right here, and I've come over here, and you can see that that five volt output is going right to one side of my potentiometer. The other side of the potentiometer is referencing the ground pin, so if we follow this black wire, it's gonna come down here and go to the ground terminal right here, and then the middle terminal of my potentiometer is going to provide me with my 0 to 5 volt input into the Arduino. And that lead right there, if we follow that down, uh, we're no longer going to be making use of the digital inputs. We're going to make use of the analog in inputs. So this lead right here from the center pin right here, you can see that that bad boy comes down and goes to pin A0 on the Arduino. Again, if you go to tinkercad.com, uh, I've got this diagram set up for you, uh, but you may want to play around with it and create it yourself. Okay, so let's jump right into the Arduino ID and see how to get this program to work. Okay, so here we have the Arduino ID. Here's our standard setup with the void setup and the void loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these guys down a touch, uh, and I'm going to create some integer values. Uh, so the first one I'm going to create uh, is an integer value, and I'm going to say potentiometer. So uh, I could just say pot for short form but for potentiometer, but I'm going to use the long form there just to make everything make sense a little bit more. Uh, now that potentiometer, or the middle pin of the t potentiometer, we said is going to be connected into pin A0. Okay, so we're making an integer. We're saying that this potentiometer... Uh, is going to correspond to A0. Then again, remember we need to use the semicolon at the end. And then we'll put in some comments. So we'll put a double backslash here. Uh, and then we'll just state what we're doing here. So we're declaring the integer uh, potentiometer uh, to represent pin A0. Excellent. The other integer I'm going to make is uh, analog read value. Now, if you go to uh, if you go here and go to file, um, and then go to examples, easy now, and go to basics, uh, then right here is the read analog voltage. So you can open this up and have a look and see the differences between what I'm going to do and the uh, basic program that they already have here for the read analog voltage. There I believe they use sensor value, um, but I'm not using a sensor, I'm using uh, potentiometer, so I'm just going to use uh, the term analog read value. I'm going to make that as an integer value. Okay, so there again, I'm just going to put a note in there that I am declaring the analog 
read value as a variable. Excellent. Okay, so those are my two integers that I'm going to make use of. Uh, down here in my void setup, remember that the void setup runs once. So I'm going to do two things in my void setup. Okay, I'm going to first uh, declare uh, my pin mode. Let's move this over so it matches with those double backslashes there. So pin mode, again, remember that the, the M is capitalized in pin mode there. And I'm going to make use of this term right here, potentiometer. If it works better for you to use pot and you like the short font form, then use pot. I'm just using potentiometer so I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to say that uh, the potentiometer, which I've now declared as pin A0, uh, is going to be an input. So I need to use caps lock here and it turns blue and tells me that everything is good. Close the brackets, then put a semicolon. And here I'm just declaring uh, potentiometer as an input. Okay, I'm going to make use of this serial monitor. So I need to turn on my serial begin. So it's capital S E R I A L dot begin on all lower case. And I'm going to use 9600 baud. It's just a standard baud rate uh, that just works. Okay, so this guy here is turning on the serial port. And we're going to use 9600 baud. So we just have to make sure that the serial monitor, when we look at it, uh, is toggled for 9600. Okay, that looks good. So that's everything we're going to do for the void setup. Uh, if you want to make sure that uh, everything is closed in, then you can just place your cursor beside uh, this first guy right here, and it will show you that it's closed up right here. I forgot the word parentheses, but had a brain fart there. So if you just put your cursor beside this parentheses here, it will highlight the closed parentheses here. Here with the void loop, here I'm putting my cursor here and it's showing the closed parentheses for my void loop. Okay, so again in the, the void loop you're putting your main code there and it's going to repeat over and over. So let's see, I'm now going to put in uh, this value right here, the analog read value. So I so that was an integer value up here. So I declared analog read value as an integer above. And I'm going to make use of this instruction now. So analog, capital R, E, A, D. So analog read. And I want to read the potentiometer. And remember that the potentiometer I declared as pin A0 above. So when I put in potentiometer here, I'm really reading the voltage that's being applied to pin A0. Just gives me like more of a description as to what I'm actually doing. Okay, I'm going to put a semicolon there. I'm going to put my comment on the next line here, uh, just because I want to do a picture in picture here later on. So this guy right here is going to read the voltage value created at the potentiometer Come on. pin. And the pin that we're using is again uh, A0. Okay. Once I look at that analog read value and I've got that value, then I want to print it to the serial monitor. So from the previous video, you should remember that you do serial, so capital S-E-R-I-A-L. Move the cursor here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, dot print and I want to you know every value I want to be on the next line so I'm going to do the print line rather than just serial print okay what do I want to print I want to print this guy right here the analog read value okay again uh, from the example from the Arduino library I believe they use sensor value there okay so I'm going to put my comment below here Beauty. 
And then just so we can see each value come in sequentially, uh, because it does take you those readings at a disgusting rate, uh, we're going to put a delay in. We'll put a delay in for half a second, just so we can see each of those values there. Okay, so what does that do? That creates a delay of half a second. And again, I'm just doing these comments on, like, compressing the comments over on this side so I can do a picture in picture here in a couple seconds. So it creates a delay of a half a second so we can actually view the values on the serial monitor. Beauty. Okay, again, when we hover here, it shows the closed parentheses there, so you may want to just delete a couple lines, make sure it's everything's cool. Uh, the next step is to verify everything that we've just done. Uh, you can save it within your file folder there. Okay, so you can see it's just verifying below. Beauty, everything looks good. Uh, let's download this guy to our Arduino now. Okay, guys, so let's download this to our Arduino. Looks good. Okay, so it's now an Arduino. Uh, you can see the five volts available right there. Uh, and as I change that potentiometer, that voltage should change here. So as I reduce that potentiometer down, then you'll see it go from five volts down to zero volts. Beautiful. Okay. So there's my zero to five volt signal. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the serial monitor. And there you can see that the, the zero volts is corresponding to a zero on the serial monitor here. And as I increase the voltage, we should see that the value on the serial monitor starts to go up. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. So as we increase that voltage now, it should go from 0 to 1,023. Okay, still going up. We're at 3 volts. 4 volts now. And then finally our max voltage of 5 volts corresponding to 1,023. Beautiful. So now we've got a 0 to 5 volt signal going into pin A0, and that's corresponding to a 0 to 1023 signal on our serial monitor now. Very cool. I like it. There we go. Let's see at, uh, at 2.5 volts what we get. There we go. Okay, so pretty good, right? Two and a half volts corresponding to 522, 523. It should be 511. Let's see if we can get this closer to two and a half. So we'll just reduce this down just a touch. There we go. Beautiful. So it's pretty good. It should be 511. We're at 506 there. So the resolution is just off by a touch. But this is really cool. Now we've got an analog signal going from 0 to 5 volts, and we've got a digital value that matches with it, right? So we have a 10-bit digital value going from 0 to 1,023, corresponding to our 0 to 5 volt signal going in. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to, because this value of 0 to 1,023 is cool, uh, but it would be a lot handier to have the actual voltage value being displayed. So this voltage that we're seeing on the meter, uh, we'd like to see being displayed on the serial monitor as well. So let's start doing that, guys. We'll put a little bit more into our program uh, so we can so we can do that conversion from the 0 to 1023 to now a 0 to 5 volt signal on our serial monitor. So in order to change that value on the serial monitor uh, to a 0 to 5 volt signal that matches what the meter is showing, uh, we just have to do a few changes to our program here. So what I'm going to do here, uh, below where I put my potentiometer is equal to my pin A0, and then I declared my analog read value. Uh, below there, I'm going to create a float. Okay, And for that float, I'm going to look at the voltage. 
Okay, again, the semicolon there. And then by doing that, we'll be able to have a value with an actual decimal place. Okay, now all I need to do is uh, down here, everything's fine. I have my pin mode, my potentiometer is still an in input. I've started my serial begin at 9600 baud. And my void loop, I've got the analog read value uh, equal to analog read of my potentiometer. Potentiometer is on A0. Then I'm printing serial print line, my analog read value. Then I'm putting in a delay. And then below that, I'm going to put my voltage value. So right here. I'm going to then type in voltage, so matching with the float that I did above here, right? So I did it in lowercase there. So my voltage is going to be equal to, uh, and this is crucial, I'm doing uh, 5 and then a decimal place, and that makes the values the floating point values, okay? So make sure you put the decimal place in there. So I'm going 5 divided by my 1023. So I'm changing the ratio there. Again, I'm putting a decimal place there for my 1023, closing the brackets, and I'm going to multiply that ratio by, so I'm going to multiply that by my analog read value. Okay, again, I need my semicolon at the end here to finish off that line. So what that does is it changes the uh, the display on the serial monitor from a what a zero to one thousand and twenty three to a zero to five signal. Okay, again, just so I have enough room for a picture in picture, I'm going to put that comment just below there. Okay, once I've got that voltage value then I want to actually display that on the serial monitor. So the next thing I'm going to put in is serial, so capital S E R I A L dot print line. And what am I going to print? I'm going to print that voltage value that I just created up here. Semicolon and then we're done. Beautiful. And then before it goes back up to the top to keep going on the, the void loop there, uh, let's put another delay in there. And we'll put a delay in for half a second again. So 500 milliseconds. Beautiful. Looks good. Uh, I'm just going to uh, compress this a little bit so that everything's all in one spot here. So we can see everything that's going on. Beautiful. Okay. And have I closed everything? Yes, I have. Because when I hover here, then I see my closed parentheses right here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's come up here. Let's verify everything. Make sure I haven't mixed any values up. Looks good. And now let's download this to Arduino. Okay. So downloading to the Arduino. Beauty. Uh, and you can see the 5 volts there from before. Let's open up the serial monitor and let's see what's changed on the serial monitor. So again, serial monitor is available right here. Hey, cool, hey, look at this. 1023, 5 volts. 1023, 5 volts. So we've created that delay in between each of them so we can actually see it. And right now I got 5 volts on my meter here. I got 5 volts on my serial monitor. And let's see if I change the voltage here. So let me reduce this down to 4.75 volts. Cool, eh? Now there's a, a small resolution problem in that I got 4.75 volts there and I got 4.69 here. Um, I don't know what the answer is to that, whether it's just the resolution and the 10 bits that's not giving me uh, the exact value. Um, not sure what the answer is there whatsoever as to why I'm getting 4.69 now uh, and the meter is reading 4.75. But very cool, right? It's now showing me the actual voltage. So down here, all we did was we took, to, took the ratio of 5 volts to the 1023 and now we're getting a value that matches and it's displaying the, the numerical value between 0 and 1023 and our voltage as well. If we change this voltage down, 
Let's go to what, two and a half maybe? This guy's just not making contact there. There we go. So 3.3. Beautiful, two and a half. Let me just push this again so it actually makes contact there. All right, so 2.54. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? 2.51 on the serial monitor. Beautiful. And let's just keep going all the way down. Let's go to uh, one volt here. Nice, so 1.04, 1.02 on the serial monitor. Very cool. So now we've got a way, guys, that we can now take a look at that analog voltage. There's zero volts, and obviously corresponding to a zero value on the zero to 1023. And as we increase the voltage, then we've got a way to display both the numerical value and the zero to five volt signal as well. All right, guys, really cool. All right, hopefully everything makes sense. We now have a program that we can now take a digital signal, a zero to five volt signal going in. Again, the Arduino is changing that from a zero to five to a th zero to 1023. Uh, but we use the conversion factor there in order to change that value and have an accurate display on the serial monitor of that voltage going in. So now the value on the meter there at uh, two and a half volts just to finish up this guy right here so two and a half volts right there and we got 2.47 on our serial monitor all right guys hopefully everything makes sense we'll see you on the next video